Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about an extremely well-written calculus book. This book is called A First Course in Calculus, and it is written by the famous Serge Lang. If you've watched my book reviews before, you will know that I am a huge fan of Serge Lang, and I own many of his books. I really like the way uh, that Lang writes, and this is an interesting book in the sense that this is actually a beginner book. Uh, this is meant for people who are just starting calculus. And even the name implies that, a first course in calculus. I have so many good things to say about this book. Um, let's take a look inside it. So before we look inside the book, let me show you what the cover looks like without the dust jacket. So it's got really elegant writing. You see there it says, a first course in calculus by Lang. All right, let's take a look uh, inside this book. It's signed there by someone. I don't know if we can make that out. Uh, 381, that's either a date or a price. One of the two. First course in calculus. It's part of the Addison Wesley series in mathematics. Serge Lang, Columbia University, New York, New York. With supplementary exercises. And here we go. Here is the date of the book. First printing, 1965. Wow. That was a long time ago, right? A very, very long time ago. And here is the forward. It says, The purpose of a first course in calculus is to teach the student the basic notions of derivative and integral, and the basic techniques and applications which accompany them. Right, so this is an old school uh, introductory uh, textbook. Let's take a look at the table of contents. So chapter one starts off from the very beginning, numbers and functions. He talks about integers, rational numbers, and real numbers, and inequalities, functions, and powers. Then he goes on and talks, and talks about graphs and curves. Uh, notice he talks about parabolas and hyperbolas. This is very different uh, from what you see in uh, mainstream calculus books today than the derivative. An entire chapter on sine and cosine. He talks about the addition formula, then the derivatives, and two basic limits. Chapter 5 is on the all-important mean value theorem. Then talks about sketching curves, inverse functions, exponentials, exponents and logarithms, integration, going a little bit faster here, properties of the integral, techniques of integration. So it looks like he does substitution, parts, trig integrals, and partial fractions. Then some substantial exercises. I like the name of that chapter. I mean, who does that? Uh, calls a chapter some substantial exercises. Uh, well, Serge Lang does. That's who. Uh, and then we keep going. Then it looks like he finishes with series, which I kind of like. Uh, I finish my Calculus 2 course uh, with series whenever I do teach Calculus 2. I like to save the best for last, and I do love uh, infinite series. This is chapter one, it's called Numbers and Functions. Let's read it together. In starting the study of any sort of mathematics, we cannot prove everything, I agree. Every time that we introduce a new concept, we must define it in terms of a concept whose meaning is already known to us, and it is impossible to keep going backwards defining forever. Right, you have to take some things for granted when you're studying math, especially the higher you go. You know, the higher you go, you have to take a lot of stuff for granted um, that you may not know how to prove. You just assume it's true because someone else has done it before you, and then you move forward. Then we must choose our starting place, what we assume to be known, and what we are willing to explain and prove in terms of these assumptions. Very good, Mr. Lang. This is the chapter on integration, and the first thing I noticed when I opened it to this page was the smell. I wish you could smell it with me. Uh, that's the nice thing about old books. They just smell so good. If there was some way to transmit the smell through you to this video, I would totally do it. This is a very interesting chapter. It's the chapter on sine and cosine. And he starts off by just defining the sine and cosine from scratch, which is kind of nice. Uh, I often find that when people take calculus... They forget a lot of the trigonometry, and that's normal, and I honestly think it's expected. Uh, learning trig is pretty tough, and we tend to forget things. Uh, we're human. So he defines sine and cosine. Let's keep looking. Let's just skim through this together. Yeah, he just keeps going on and on, defining everything, just reviewing all of trig, 
uh, at least the important stuff. I like how he emphasizes the quadrantal angles here, right? Pi, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And he gives pictures of each. I mean, these are probably uh, some of the most useful common angles that come up in calculus. He gives their measures in degrees. And then he has a little table uh, with the other important uh, values of the sine and cosine, which people always tend uh, to forget. And I guess that was true even back in the 60s, right? This book was written in the 60s, and Lang uh, knew that people struggled with this, so he decided to put this in his calculus book. The writing in this book is absolutely phenomenal from a mathematics point of view. Um, this is the chapter on the mean value theorem, and then here he talks about critical points, and he gives some examples of pictures, and this is exactly what I do uh, when I teach Calculus 1. I give examples, and I also give the functions, and I try to give all the possible cases so people really understand um, what is going on, and Lang does the same thing. Um, fabulous book, uh, extremely, extremely well written. So this is the section on uh, derivatives uh, for sine and cosine. And you notice the problems are not too bad. Um, it's not too difficult. Uh, he doesn't go nuts. Looks like there's a lot of chain rule examples here. Uh, and that's it. Only, only uh, 15 exercises in uh, this little subsection here. So not bad, which is kind of nice, right? You read the book. There are short little sections, and then you do the exercises. Uh, it makes you feel accomplished. It makes you feel good. And uh, you basically learn. You learn a lot of mathematics by reading this book. This book provides answers to almost all of the exercises, uh, which makes it an excellent source uh, for self-study. Uh, this is a great book for self-study, and it's a great book to read. Um, the way it's written uh, is just fabulous. Uh, all of Sir Lang's writing, I think, is very good, and it's very clean, and it's very, very uh, correct. So again, the book is A First Course in Calculus by Serge Lang. I don't know if this book is still in print. Uh, I will look on the internet, and if it is, uh, or even if it's not, I'll post a link in the description. This is a really good book, and you can probably get a used copy for only a few dollars. And it's a small book, right? Um, it won't make you feel like you can't read it all. You actually can sit down and just read as much as you can. Even if you don't understand everything in the book, just make an effort, and I promise you, you will get something from it. That's it.